So today we're going to go over real quick uh, how I get my students on one screen and share my iPeople visualizer on the other, or just share something with the kids on the other screen. I got a lot of calls from teachers saying that I can't see my kids anymore once the new team's updated and I share. And I wanna go over the process and show you what that's like so that we can clarify it. <clears throat> so I have my teams open. I have a meeting I am going to join right now, and nobody else is gonna be in the meeting, but that's okay. I'm joining now. All right, so now I'm in this meeting and I'm waiting for others to join. You can do this to practice as well if you don't have anybody to meet with or with your kids, but once uh, students start showing up to meetings, they will be on this screen. Once I go to share, I wanna share uh, my desktop over here. And did you see that? It brings that meeting and puts it away down to here. Now what I can do is I can just click on that again and it'll pop back up. Sometimes when it uh, minimizes, it goes all the way down into the tray. Uh, it, I'll show you when I open my iPeople visualizer, okay? See, I can't see where that little minimization went, but all I have to do is come down to either bottom of um, the screens. And if I click on my teams, that student view will pop back up. So I can keep my student view over here on this screen. I can share whatever I have in my iPeople visualizer right here, and my students will be able to follow along. Okay, and I can do my lesson from here. If I'm done with my iPeople visualizer, I can get rid of it, and I can start sharing something else on the screen, like um, a Chrome tab if I wanted to, okay? So let's look at a Chrome tab over here. And now I'm sharing this with my students. They're all seeing this. I know that because it has a red um, outline around the screen. And I still have my view of all my students over here. So I can keep watch on my students on my second screen and I can conduct my lesson from the first screen. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or email me. I'll get back to you right away and I can even come to your classroom and help you figure out the tools if they're being difficult. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for joining me.